Hey people. Hi. It's Christmas Eve lobby time. Okay, it is day five of Lobby Time Christmas. We had a very successful live stream last night. Very awkward. Yes. Uh, so very. It was very on brand. Yeah, it was very on brand for us. <laughs> that was the exact word I was going to say. And we made it through and we're back with another day. We're actually, we were hoping to record Christmas Eve and Christmas Day kind of like together, but where we're just, we're only focused on Christmas Eve now because we want to relax and enjoy it, but we still will complete this challenge. We're, we're going to get, do it. we're going to get all the days done, but this is a very special night. Christmas Eve is, uh, you know, for, for us at least, Christmas Eve is more magical than Christmas Day. So tonight is our big night. This is, it is. this is the, uh, where the magic is all in the air and Kermit yeah. singing and I know that's the priority here. It is. And we are going to just have a delectable dinner tonight. I cannot wait for it. But before Very we get to do that, well, you're not going to watch us have dinner. That no, would, don't worry. That would be weird. So uh, before that, though, we have to have our beer of the day. And we have a very uh, we have a very on brand one for Kylie. It is called uh, Cuddly as a Cactus. I'm Cuddly as a Cactus. You're Cuddly as a Cactus because you love the Jim Carrey version of The Grinch. And I, I believe do. that line comes only from the movie version. I am completely lying to you. It's you in the are. original it's version. It's in the song. It is. It's in the <laughs> song. But I, I, I sold you on it. So, okay, we've got to do our uh, oh, thumbnail okay. one. Okay. Fantastic. What a good one. So, uh, Cuddly as a Cactus is a sour uh, New England IPA, 6.5%, and it's brewed with prickly pear. I'm I, really I, excited to try this. I know. It's my first prickly pear IPA, so I... I am looking forward to it. And the color is just it's absolutely beautiful. stunning. Look at it that. is that's yours. Oh, you were handing it. Yeah, wow, I was being nice. Thank you. It's Christmas Eve. If I'm not nice to you tonight, when will I be nice to you? I don't know. Even though I will be watching a Christmas story alone tonight while I wrap presents, because You're the entire week I was trying to wrap presents while Kylie was at work, and then I ended up out of the house more than she was even out of the house. <laughs> Oops. Love how that happens, but yeah. mm, oh, oh, it almost smells like pear watermelon there. I am already taking this. Okay, up. I'm well, so sorry. Cheers. Cheers. cheers, cheers to everyone else out there. <laughs> this is delicious. Yes, it is. Uh, the first thing that I'm happy about, and I'm sure you're happy about too, even though it's a sour New England IPA, it is not very sour at all. Just no. like on the first real sip. And then it kind of smooths out. It's really, yeah. really delicious. And it really, like, I don't, again, I don't know what prickly pear tastes like, but this to me tastes like watermelon-ish. It does. Yeah, maybe it's just because of the color and because that's what's in my brain now, but maybe. I'm okay with it. This is like- It doesn't matter what it is, it's delicious. Yeah, it's not, I, I wouldn't say this is another one that's like overly Christmassy. The label is and the name and such. And yeah. But I'm 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 loving this one. I am really really enjoying this, and Elvis is loving his bone in the background. So you probably hear it. I, as I've been editing these videos, I've noticed that you can hear him like huffing and puffing and breathing <laughs> and squeaking his ball in the background. I'm not sure if it comes through to most people, but like it's now like I'm hyper aware of it. But uh, he's, he's also happy. Yeah, he's our precious angel, so he gets to do whatever he wants to do, and that's just. That's just how it's going to be. But yes. uh, tonight's topic that we're going to do with this, we've we've done Christmas music, we've done movies, we did even more of that on the live stream. Yes. We ate the Ben and Jerry's. And tonight we're gonna talk Christmas traditions, specifically our Christmas traditions, and with this our Christmas Eve traditions, because that's kind of uh that's kind of the main one. We'll mention Christmas Day as well too, because For sure. it's uh, important too. Yeah, it's we do stuff on Christmas Day as well, but Christmas Eve is 
is the highlight. So do we? Do you want to talk about what we do Christmas Eve when we're in Florida, since sure. it's with your family? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So um, we all get together. I have a wonderful big family that my cousins, my aunts, my dad, we all gather together. We play games. We have steak. We have crab legs. And my cousins try to kill me with the crab legs because I'm allergic to shellfish. But it's just all the cousins getting together. We're all really goofy and... It's so much fun. Yeah, it's the best part, honestly, is the games. Uh, Kylie's aunt. She like, goes out all out. Like, yeah. She makes sure everyone has the best time every single year. Yeah, like a scavenger hunt style game. So usually we're like the at least the last time that we were here for Christmas yeah. where we got to play. I mean, Minute uh, to win it game. Yeah, it just like so, so much fun. It's like so it reminds me of like. Uh, Christmas Carol and other stuff when they're playing games on Christmas. It's like, oh, people do play games on Christmas. My crazy family. Then again, my family, They, pl- you were playing games with them last year. I what was. was I um, don't even know. It was, it was a game where you rolled the die. Yeah. You were playing that one and then you played dominoes too. I love dominoes. Yeah. I had no idea. And I was napping and watching movies while y'all were playing games constantly. It was but, so much fun. Yeah, I it, love games. <laughs> I know. And uh, usually on Christmas Eve, well, anytime really before this year, you'd be working on Christmas Eve. And that's when I would do all the last minute present shopping and stuff yeah. for you. So that's what I do when we are in Florida. But when we're up in Pennsylvania, my family's, uh, it's, it's always like a mixed bag on Christmas Eve. Sometimes we're just there and at home like i think last year i went snowboarding you did on christmas I'm eve still sick yeah you were still sick when we both got really sick and uh <laughs> yikes. yikes um but you know it's not uncommon for us to also be out shopping <laughs> on christmas eve because we realized that we did not buy stuff and then get up to pennsylvania and like and we're oh, like Oop. we need more presents um it's there's we travel a long way to shop when we go to Pennsylvania because of where my parents live. And so like we go to Barnes and Noble, I think four or five times each trip. I think it's just because we love Barnes and Noble, yeah. to be honest. And you made us go this past week to Barnes because and Noble. Because I missed it. <laughs> yeah. and, but it's really cute and really fun. And so, yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll do Christmas Eve mm-hmm. uh, service and then we'll come home and... Like last year, I think we skipped church because I was too busy cooking and, and, but you know, we try to do Christmas Eve service and then we cook and we've, we, it's pretty much always steaks on Christmas Eve. And then one or two times we might've had like salmon thrown in as well. But, uh, we, we rather we're here or in Pennsylvania, we watch Muppet Christmas Carol when we get home. That is, that is our tradition. Yes. And I'll I'll watch usually a couple more things as I stay up late rapping every single year without he fault. Always raps at the last minute. Mm-hmm. It'll be like Christmas morning, and he's like, Ugh. "Yeah, yeah, actually, that's very <laughs> true." And don't come in this room. All the while, I'll be watching a Christmas story in the background, part and falling asleep to it, which also could explain why Kylie hates that movie so much. Maybe probably because I always make her watch it twenty four seven once the marathon starts at eight o'clock. So it's true. It's all coming together now, but. Then, uh, yeah, for for Christmas Day, we're, um, you know, with if we're in Pennsylvania, we have Swiss steak. Yes. Uh, my, I believe my grandma's recipe might be my great grandma's recipe. I don't I don't quite remember, but that's our that's our go to item with mashed potatoes and French toast casserole in the morning, opening up presents. And it's always a special time in here. We end back. We go to your family's again. Yeah, we go back to my aunt's house and. It's more of a chill day. We are all just kind of hanging out and enjoying each other's company. Yeah. We used to do like a really big turkey dinner, but we've dialed it down. Yeah. We're kind of laid back people. Don't we kind of party so hard on Christmas Eve that then... It's it's almost like we're all hungover. Like we're just like, here we are. But I... I just love how much effort Kathy puts into like making sure everyone's happy and having fun. Oh, I know for sure. And I think maybe we didn't go to church this past year because did we go to my cousin April's house? We did. That was right. We did go there. So that explains that. It was awesome. That was also fun. So sometimes we go to my mom's side of the family on Christmas Eve because that's what we did growing up. We went to my mom's side and then on Christmas Day we'd go on my dad's side and then sometimes pop over to my mom's side too. So yeah. uh, Yeah. Christmas. I 
love it's it. It's special. I do it too. Is. And Christmas Day is still going to be fun too. And tomorrow we're going to talk about uh, not uh, not our traditions, but our favorite Christmas memories. Yay. So I think that's going to be special. And of course, drink our beer, our yeah. sixth beer of Christmas on Christmas Day. Halfway through. I know. It's we're a, doing good. We're, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. We're going to get there. And we hope that everyone out there has a very Merry Christmas Eve and an yes. even better Christmas Day and a great Christmas weekend. Uh, please, as a Christmas gift to us, make sure you <laughs> like this video and subscribe to the channel. And also, of course, tell us what your Christmas Eve Christmas Day traditions are in the I comments. I love to uh, read those. Yeah, if you saw the live stream, you know that I, I go through every single comment. And yes. uh, I, I really do, I, I pay a lot of attention to it. So please leave us those comments. And uh, of course, what you're drinking as well too, because that's important. But <laughs> seriously, uh, from the bottom of our hearts, uh, Merry Christmas and stay uh, stay safe if you're going out for some reason stay and healthy We're stay gonna... healthy as well too that's important that is have a merry christmas appreciate what you have love each other yeah and we appreciate all of you so thank you merry christmas and most importantly stay healthy